Hey, come on, get in. We're going to Dapper Day. And as always, as in true tradition, the Dapper Day Expo is being held here at the Convention Center, just adjacent to the Disneyland Hotel. First of all, we bought our passes online earlier. They usually always have like a pre-sale where you save like a few dollars beforehand. $15 if you buy them ahead of time. 20 I believe, at the door. So we just gotta pick them up over here, right hand side, you'll see. And welcome back to the Dapper Day Expo. As always, popping with a lot of life. I see a lot of vintage clothes, shoes, sellers. Of course, the Dapper Day official expo booth is right here up front. They're gonna sell actual pieces of clothing, pins, hats, accessories. These are gonna be the ones that are, I guess for lack of a better word, the official merchandise of Dapper Day Expo. But of course, there's a lot of vendors around and we're gonna check out and show you a few of my favorites. One of the hot spots of every Dapper Day Expo is the official backdrop. Here we got a beautiful one, a garden scene of sorts. And I say it's always popular. They always have a little selfie stand you can use if you're by yourself. Ask the guests behind you. But there's always a line here. You want that spot, you want that photo, do it earlier than later. Obviously, a lot of vendors here have, you know, memorabilia, vintage items, Disney. I mean, we're looking here. We got souvenir guides, maps, watches, even a phone. I swear this is probably my old phone. I had this when I was a kid. I should have kept it. I don't know why I got rid of it. Some wonderful handcrafted headbands. Look at this one. Looks like something Vanilla Beach Von Schweetz would wear. Oh, I am Gru with a little Gru right over there. How cute is that? Andrade's Barber Shop is here doing haircuts. They do have walk-ups available, or of course, I think there was a link on the website for you to book a reservation ahead of time. Match, they always have some great stuff because one thing I always like is that they do a lot of like wood items, you know, brooches, earrings, Disneyfied, and they do a lot of tiki, which I love. Look at this. It's like the Jungle Cruise entrance, the sign above the ride. Necklaces, they also always have the classic D's that you can put on your lapels. And look at these amazing little things. Pin brooches, Maleficent of Briar Rose, the owl that she dances with, and of course, Sleeping Beauty, Aurora the Princess, the fairies. But look at this, this is the first I've ever seen. General Grievous! I've never seen anything pin, brooch, or anything that gives love to General Grievous. I love these shirts. I actually own a few of them myself. Very classic 40s to 60s vintage bowling style shirts. I just love the colorations that they use and like they put little icons on the chest. Very comfortable too. Very nice. Well, Paige and the doctor, Paige and Dr. Rubens. And speaking of him, here he is. Beautiful purveyors of some of the most sweet, delicious items for men and women. Pomades, hair, candle, waxes, anything you need. My personal, personal favorite is I am a personal fan of their beer products. They smell absolutely delicious. And of course, I had to pick up a few items. Look at these coloring books. But really, El Santo. He looks cute though. Not as aggressive as I like, but still very cute button. And then look at this. Some postcards of my favorite. The Three Caballeros, including, oh, look at this one too, the Saludos Amigos poster, and another one right over here. Huh. Oh, that is wonderful. Look at these lovely crowns. I've actually seen these before, people wearing them on like fedoras or even baseball caps, but they're leather crowns, and you know, they got the acrylic glass on them in various colors and patterns, designs, it's so cool. Look at all, like seriously, look at this like, see colors this looks like something Elsa would wear right look at this one 
I mean, what do you think? I think it looks good. Might have to get one. And a purveyor of elegant creations, Robert Adele himself. How you doing? Yeah, happy every day to you too. I see some new items here. I see some beautiful brooches and pins. I and did, I did. I bought some specialty ones today. Okay, what's a specialty oh, one? What do we got this here? This one is from a designer in England. Isn't that fabulous? That is very nice. Yeah, I did a really cool little glitter box. And this is the stuff that you're known for. Is doing like the little glitter accents and everything like on boxes and cards, for example. There's yes. one that you, hey, you got a baby on the way? Yes, Perfect. exactly. I've got two, a boy and a girl or whatever you want. I like it. Yeah. Very nice. Well, you know who's back. Velvet Apparition, my good friend Christina. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. How is Dapper Day treating you today? It's been wonderful. It's been good. Good. I, I'm just always the biggest fan. You always, there's always something to look at every time I come see you. The old photos. I see. I got scared for a second because I saw that this was an urn with lady, and I was thinking, is the lady inside? But no, it's just the painted lady right there. But then this vintage Mickey Bank. Probably close to maybe 60, 70 years old. That's nice. I like that. There they are. My buddies over at BB Create. Creators of some of the finest pins around, including Mikey right over there. How's it going, everybody? Always good, sir. Always good. Their wall of stickers. I mean, we, they got collections from your anime greats. Crossovers. They're known for the crossovers, okay? For example, Power Rangers in BB-8. Okay. Yoshi in a BB-8. Donkey Kong, Chewbacca, Robin, uh, BBA, it's just like the crossover anime. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It kind of looks like a My Little Pony in a way, but it's a Tauntaun with a BBA. It's like so cool. The Wookiee Bowcaster. They, these are cool. So they're Bowcasters, guns, lightsabers from the Star Wars series with floral bouquets on a perfect accent for any Dapper Day outfit. And these are kind of like the Sons of Anarchy, the name badges that they got going on. I picked up the Mandalorian. And one thing I really like is they've been doing the baseball teams here of BBA. You can see he's uh, wearing some of the teams right there. we got the Yankees, the Mets, Red Sox, Tigers, Toronto, St. Louis. He also has a San Diego one, but good to know it's sold out already because it was so popular. And one thing that is new for this year, I don't think it's ever been done at all, is this year they're doing tattoos. So I guess it's like Tattoo Corner over here. There's like about four or five different tattoo artists. Some have walk-ins available, some are by appointment only. But get yourself a tattoo. Some of them are actually very well known, from what I understand. Um, and you know, these are some people that like, if you want a specific design, color, or what they're known for, you book them now. Down in the center, we got the dance floor. Right now, they are doing a little bit of some dance lessons. So, novice, professional, anything in between, jump on the stage, there we go. And then also the same people who teach, they actually, uh, every so often, they also perform, and they have some very good dance moves. So done with the expo, so now it is time to check out the better part of what I consider for Dapper Day is going through the parks and seeing all the wonderful outfits strolling around. Because Dapper Day, you know, is one, really one quarter of it is the expo, three quarters of it is to see and be seen. That's the best part.
have to get your photo in front of the castle. Nice little line over here. Everyone's dressed up in their best. We're about to go get in line here and take some good photos. But before I do, look at this real quick. Elsa and Anna as vintage like 50s cowboy. I love it. Look at that. I mean, look at that. We even have a old Walt and young Walt. I love it. Well, that's going to do it for this journey today. I hope you had a great time getting to check out what Dapper Day is all about. And of course, the wonderful outfits, the ideas, the designs, the patterns, the costumes. You know what? People put a lot of effort and time into their outfits for these events, and it really does show. So hopefully you can make it to the next Dapper Day event. Or if you've been going to a lot of them already, tell me about them in the comments below how much you, what you enjoy most about Dapper Day. If you like this video, do me a huge favor, thumbs up. Second, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And third, notification bell. And of course, follow me on social media at Big Red Journeys, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. So from me to you, thank you, and then I'll see you on the next journey. Bye-bye now.